Hi everybody, Ashley. This is the TopMate C302 uh, laptop cooling fan. Uh, top cooling equipment for gaming notebook. So this is like on the low cost side, like 10, 15 bucks, uh, depending on where you get it. Um, and um, it's for a 15 inch laptop. Uh, they have a bunch of different models out there. Um, not just TopMate, but there's other ones. And there's some that you know seem to have a lot of reviews. And this didn't really look like the top of the line by any stretch, but it was economical. And I wanted to just give it a try to see if it would help keep the laptop cooler, perhaps reducing the throttling during video editing. I don't know what I think about this cooling fan just yet. I, I got it about a week ago. I have already opened it and tried it. This is gonna be a little bit of an unboxing video, but it's also gonna be a little bit of a review a video to tell you what I know right now. I'll try to do an update later, you know, as I use it just to see if there's any difference, you know, in my experience when, when using this cooling fan while doing video editing. In fact, I may use it while I edit this video and I can kind of maybe observe, you know, if it helps at all. All right, so let's get to it. So here's the front of the cover right here. Here's the back cover of the box. Okay, so let's get into unboxing this. Oh, geez. Okay, so it's just a plain old box with an anti-static bag. There was no manual. So we have, and pretty much it's kind of simple. Um, you basically have a, a USB connector. So the connector actually has um, a USB connector that goes into the side of the laptop. And then it has another uh, female connector on the other side. So you can still use the USB port. Uh, when this is plugged in. I thought that was kind of nifty. Now one thing I was hoping to do is I have this tray table that I use the laptop on and I was hoping to lay this flat on the tray table and this really is not meant to be used flat from what I can tell. Basically you have this cable right here and uh, here is where the fan needs to blow in and out. You need air travel here. These little vents are right here. So these vents would be flush to the tabletop if I don't elevate these little uh, feet down here. So they have little rubber grommets on the bottom of these feet when these feet are retracted, but if but this cable doesn't really have a way of coming out and it gets pinched uh, between the bottom surface and this plastic uh, part right here, this cable kind of gets pinched here. Now you could go and cut this, uh, you know, to make a slit for the cable so it doesn't get pinched by this, but it doesn't come that way. And I thought that was kind of puzzling because they do have little rubber feet here, but also I'm not so sure you would want these vents to be flush against, uh, you know, so close. There would only be a little area here and I think having more space would be nice. So it would be nice if the feet uh, were equally protruded a little bit more, I think, uh, but that's not the way it is with this particular tray table. When you protrude these feet, it, it kind of comes out like this. So these come out about a little bit more than an inch, I would say. And after you do that, um, you have something that's sort of uh, elevated like this. So you can kind of see like how, how this is sort of elevated here. So you're gonna be using this with the laptop elevated unless you do something else to kind of rework it a little bit. Okay, so this is the uh, rear side side here and this is the front side so I'm going to turn the front uh, towards the camera here and what I wanted to point out is you have these little feet in the front here that you can optionally put up and it will hold the laptop as the laptop is slanted right here. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this into the laptop, but what I wanna do is I actually wanna plug this in first so you can just kind of see it, you know, start up. So there it is. You can't really hear it with that microphone. So let me actually uh, get the other microphone closer to this and plug it in and you can hear it that way. Okay, so here is the tray table that I usually use on the couch. And this is where I wanted to use this. So basically I would place it right here and there are the little feet on the bottom. So it ends up being a, a little bit elevated here. If you look underneath the laptop, you'll see my laptop has its vent its vents are mostly right here. Now other areas of the laptop do provide some ventilation, but these are the primary vents near the CPUs and uh, like the Thunderbolt port and other things like that. Hello buddy, how are you? This is my little bud, hello. You wanna come and say hi? Good guy, you wanna come on up here? Come on up. It's a good guy. You gonna come up here? Can you come up here? Hey, Ricochet's here, everybody. <laughs> you 
He's helping with the unboxing video. Hello, little man. How you doing? This is a little soldier here, my little buddy. How's it going? I, I love it. It's great. Hi. You want to say hello? He wants to do social eating. So if you look back here, you see that the vents are here near the rear of the laptop. Now, if you look here where the fan, the fans are, they're more towards the front of this. So there's the vent strip there, and I, I'll try to actually line this up. So I have the laptop down flat. I'm going to push it forward here. Now I'm going to tilt this straight up so we can kind of see the alignment. The vents are here towards the rear of the laptop, so I can feel the fans are mostly blowing right in this area down near the front of the laptop. So we're going to do what I refer to as the tissue test or the tissue test. Okay, so let's get some tissue. Let me actually get a single square here. Okay, so here's a single, here's a single square. This is actually two ply tissue. So what I want to do is take one ply of tissue, just one ply, and kind of go along the front here. So see how elevated that is? Right there, it's kind of blowing way up like that. Okay. So I'm actually gonna line this up. So, so this is the strip where, um, where the fan is. So I'm gonna focus on having uh, this napkin, this uh, tissue, uh, right up in this area here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually pull this back from here. Now you can see it's going up a little bit because there is some air kind of pushing towards the back. You know, and that's not bad there, but here, here's what I think is happening here. And this is a better test that I'm about to do. Okay, so with these feet down, let's take this laptop and let's put it right here. So it's, it's blocking the fans, but it's, this is exposed here. And let's see what kind of uh, tissue test results we get here. So if we go like this. So I have to say that's a little bit better. So maybe with the laptop here uh, kind of uh, flat on the surface and with no vents in the front, maybe it will uh, create more pressure uh, you know, for the air to go towards the back where those vents are. So let me actually try to do this tissue test here. Here we go. Yeah, so, you know, not so bad. So maybe what I need to do is just give this a try for, you know, a few weeks and just see how, how it works. Okay, so now I'm going to unplug this and uh, we're going to turn this around because I want to show some things about plugging this into the laptop and some anomalies I noticed relating to that. Okay, so you plug the power in right here and notice how this cable now is blocking the HDMI port. So if you want to use the HDMI port, uh, you're going to have a difficult time because that cable is in the way. Now that's not an issue for me because usually I'm using the TB16 docking station, but it's just something you want to keep in mind. But I think this is all a way of saying if you're shopping around a cooling fan, uh, you know, hopefully you can see a picture in the, you know, in the online shopping or wherever you go and get your, your equipment. And maybe you can look carefully at the cable orientation to understand whether or not it'll plug in nicely with your laptop and uh, maybe avoid interfering with other plugs or not. And maybe that can guide your decision. All right, let's get a USB drive and plug it into the uh, TopMate uh, socket here. Okay, so it works fine. Now, one thing I'm not sure about, I like to use this USB uh, socket sometimes for hard drives, external drives, and I like those to go directly into the unit. I don't really like using a receptacle uh, in that situation, so that is something I need to consider here. Now, I have the TB16 hooked up to this usually, so it probably is not a big deal for me. It's just something to consider. This is just me personally. I'm not saying you can't use this with an external drive at all. I'm just saying when I use my external drives, I usually like those going into the laptop directly, especially for really important stuff, and I don't want to use a cheap hub or something 
or I'll use the TB16, which I expect to really behave in a high quality way with the USB uh, I.O. and all that. I will definitely not want to use a cheapy hub. I will want to get a really fine, nice hub if I want to, you know, uh, plug, um, you know, uh, multiple devices into here. Uh, and I don't know if I'd want that really expensive hub going into what is probably not a super high quality plug. Okay, so I don't know what just happened there, but that was not part of my plan. Wow, let me see what happened here. Now I'm telling you, I swear I did not know, I have not tried this yet. This is the first time I've really tried it and moved it like that. I think it removed it and reinserted it. Let me try that again. Yeah, see, hmm. So look, this is not an expensive high, okay, hold on. <laughs> Let's just remove the USB. Okay, so that's exactly what I was talking about. I don't want to use something on here like this. This is probably not super high quality. It's good enough to power this. When it comes to high-end, you know, like equipment that requires really high-end, uh, uh, really high-end reliable I.O. You really don't want to mess with cabling in some sort of way that is undefined or is adding some in, you know, as soon as you add something that's low end, like this little adapter, it's kind of like your, your, your full cable is only as good as the weakest link. And uh, this becomes a very weak link, apparently. It's apparently something, and you know, I don't know if all of them are gonna be like this, but even if it didn't do what it just did here, and it didn't provide a clear example, even if that didn't happen, I, I still would, would advise, you know, personally for me, I don't use an adapter like this. I don't want this to interfere with my hardware I.O. If I put this where there's a mouse going into this, I'd probably care less unless the mouse constantly was intermittently going in and out because of jiggle here or something. You know, when it comes to high-end I.O., uh, I, I wouldn't insert something between my drive and the laptop, which is low quality, whether it be a hub or a cable or an adapter or anything like that. Let's actually turn this around. Okay, so over on this side, it actually works nicely. It does protrude a little bit, but my hand generally probably doesn't go up in that area. And um, let me see what happens if I just uh, tap on this. It's not like what happened over there. This makes me want to try the USB drive over here just to just to see what happens over here. Okay, so let me tap on it now. Well, actually, you know, I got to tell you it's it's not doing the same thing over here. Let me go back to the other side and see. So let's plug in the uh, let's plug the power in. And let's plug in the USB drive. Okay, so let me tap on it now. Okay, you want to know something? I actually think it may be the socket over here is worn and it's not accepting this particular receptacle as good as it seems to be accepting my external drive. But one quick test I can do is just plug the USB drive right into the thing. Let's see what happens. I'll tell you, the USB drive feels more solid in here, and I'm not hearing the same thing. So I think that means there's a quality issue uh, with the dimensions of the plug on this little adapter and it's good enough for power, but as pass through for a data drive or something uh, at your own risk. I don't see any issues with any of the other things I plug in here, only this. So everything seems to be pointing at the quality on this. Still, it's good enough to power this fan and I can also use it on the mouse side, and the mouse port to me is uh, less of a priority than things that I would use with uh, invaluable, irreplaceable data. I performed a side-by-side -side comparison without the fan first, and then with the fan. The comparison is a two-minute timeline that contains a video clip that has lots of color correction, so that when you play it back in the video editor, it is really working the GPU. I then compared the temperatures 
without the fan and uh, with the fan. So in other words, I played back the timeline for two minutes without the fan and monitored the temperatures during that time. And I did the same thing with the fan. And I noticed uh, fairly consistently about a four degree improvement with the fan. All right, everybody, that's it on this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you like this video, I hope you'll click like. And if you want to subscribe, I certainly won't mind if you subscribe. And until the next video, please take care and may your laptop stay cool.